Right, well what Matt's doing down there is he's opened a, a metre square and he's revealed a load of cobbles, quite big cobbles, about that sort of size, and um, they've been very carefully laid, positioned in the ground, and they're not just the sort of cobbled yards that you get, you know, in, the, in a garden or something like that. This is heavy duty stuff, heavy duty cobbles, laid in a bedding, um, well bedded in, carefully fitted. This wasn't thrown up. This isn't just a, a sheet of rounded stone. They've been carefully positioned to lock together. Now the reason for that is that those cobbles almost certainly form part of the floor of a small factory, a small mill a stamping mill that was used to produce the finely crushed up ore which would then be put into carts and taken down the valley to a smelting area. <coughs> so this is called a stamp mill and what Matt's doing now is we've cleaned up the cobbles, we've photographed them, we've planned them, we've recorded them, so he's now lifting them and he's marking them with spray paint so that we can put them back in the ground precisely as they were uh, when they were put there maybe 400 years ago. Um, then Matt's going to go down and see if there are any more layers of cobbles and if we've got waste from the stamp mill below that upper layer of cobbles. Um, the stamp mill waste is very fine go down there you can have a look it, it, it's very very finely crushed up um, but not as finely as the ore that has been treated by a roller mill roller mills come in in the um, uh, 18th and 19th century so this is a stamp mill it's an earlier process it's not as efficient as a, as a, a crushing roller and that's one of the things that makes us think that this is in fact Elizabethan. <coughs> and the ore that was treated in that mill came out of this mine here, this adit. And then there's another one across the stream. You can see that little miniature waterfall over there. And well, there's another mine shaft going into the hillside over there. And there would probably have been a bridge between that mine shaft, which would have taken you across the river, and then the ore from that mine would go down a chute into the stamp mill. So the thing that's really important about this site is its scale. It's very, very small scale indeed. Um, if this had been a Victorian mine, a Victorian mill rather, it would be much much bigger scale with a huge wheel. Um, there is actually just on the top of the hill right behind us the tower, a stone tower which you can see against the skyline which would have supported a water chute for an overshot water wheel. So you know the water comes in over the top of the wheel. Now that's a huge tower and that was built by Victorian engineers for a very large mill. The scale of this is almost family size. You know, you've probably had a dozen blokes down here. Up there, you could have had 50 or 100. So it's a small scale, which is one of the things that is so convincing us that this is early mining.